Hello viewers, welcome to the Multimagics channel. This is the first video from our channel Multimagics. So Multimagic is an organization working on a mobile application called MediaSuit. So what does this MediaSuit mean? MediaSuit is an ultimate mobile app designed to run natively on your mobile which means it is specifically optimized and built to work seamlessly with the hardware and operating system of your smartphone or tablet. This native integration ensures that the app can take full advantage of device capabilities providing efficient and high performance conversion. So it typically does not depend on any client server mechanism, there is no need of any network, it simply runs on your native mobile. So now, what are the key features of your of this media suit application? So typically it does the video conversion, it converts the one format of video to the format like MP4 to WebM or MP4 to AVA. It also does an audio conversions like converting MP3 to AAC. Also it does audio extraction from a video file which means like converting an MP4 file to an MP3 file. And also it does a lot of other capabilities like batch conversion, customizable settings, high quality output, file management, cross-platform support, all the other key features we come across in a media-based applications. So currently, we have deployed this app with a mobile in the Play Store, which is currently in internal testing, and this is how the app looks like. So currently we are supporting only one feature, converting an MP4 to MP3 file. Since this is our the beginning of the journey, so we just ensure we have a simple UI. So, but down the line, we will ensure we have a very good UI and we will incorporate all the features. But as I said, this is just the beginning of the journey. So, just want to share it with you how we made to this point. So, I would like to divide this journey into three parts. So first, so we are building this application in a Linux standalone application and building the same application for an Android and publishing the app, uh, app mobile application to a Play Store. So in the first stage of the journey, so we will be seeing how to build FFmpeg on Ubuntu from source and also how to use this FFmpeg libraries and headers in our C++ application and build a applica a, an application which converts an audio to video typically mp4 to mp3 only as of now but moving down the line we will be supporting all the formats and in the next series of the videos we will be seeing how to run the same application on the android which means which involves building a web pack for android and between standard studio and bm and bx react native react native cpp modules react native cli and how to create a project how to rename the A, all the existing examples and how to build it, run it. So all these things we will be covering in the next video. And also we will also be covering on publishing this application to the Play Store. So currently in this video so we will be focusing on this Linux standalone application. So as I mentioned, so this FFmpeg, uh, Compilation steps on Ubuntu are captured here. So, all this application depends on FFmpeg. So, to build FFmpeg on Ubuntu, these are the things we need to take care of. So, first, we need to install the dependencies on the, of the FFmpeg, like this. And there are also few other dependencies we need to install. So, this in this, you can check out the source code or you can directly install from the source application command. So we, I typically recommend you follow this way since we are already downloading the FFmpeg sources so it's better you you do this sudo app but for few dependencies we have no choice then we need to just pull out the source code and then we, will, we need to build from the source the other dependencies but typically you can follow this documentation wherever it mentions to install from the default Ubuntu packages, you can install these for any other things, you can just follow from the sources. So these are all other dependencies, like libx 65 libvpx, libmdk, libopus, all these dependencies, okay. So once this all the dependencies, you can see here, this all these are dependencies to ffmpeg sources. So typically I have downloaded the ffmpeg version 6, instead of relying on the latest snapshot and I have this checked out this other dependency svt av1 and this is the vmf so these are the three 
uh, these are the two dependencies and this is the actual source code. So remaining all dependencies are through sudo apt command. Okay. So now, since it is a one-time activity, we don't typically rebuild the FFM every time. I will be. I just follow the steps mentioned here. I enabled all the dependencies required for FFM pack, and then, and then I, we are able to generate the libraries and the headers for the FFM pack, which we can use in our C++ application. So, so this FFM pack dependencies are stored here. FFM pack build. So in the include, we will be having all the header files, like AV codec, AV filter, AV format, post proc, example scale and all those things. And then in the libraries, we will be having all the libraries. And these are all the package configs, which are useful to link the FFM libraries during building our application. Okay. So now, so having gone through this build steps, Oh, and then installations. So now let's see how to build a C++ application using this header files. So typically this is a project. So this is uh, this is our source code which does the conversion from MP4 to MP3. So this is the main conversion where you pass all the uh, arguments here and then from the command line it converts all the text and it opens the input file and it converts it gets the, all the input specs and it opens up a file and identifies all the specs and this init resample, init FIFO. So these are all the functions which we developed to convert. So I would like to just go high level. This output opens like an open output file. So it opens output file, it gets an argument in an input for a context and then it's just convert, get all the specs here. So typically whatever needed for the mp4 to mp3 conversion so you can see here all the headers are included here and all the libraries it's linked in the cmake file so this cmake file is key here so you have to use cmake version 314 and you have to use just for since there's a learning since we i use this debug builds but later in the release builds i will use this we will remove this hyphen g so and we need to ensure we need to point to this package configuration files I said the, the linking is very easy. So we need to just use this uh, find package API and then you need to get all the headers and all the libraries for these packages. So and you need to use those headers in your include and then this is the only source what I am having as of now one file. So later we will be dividing this into classes and then we will be ensure we will be maintaining more and easy friendly understandable code but for now we just want to start with an app to start with a high level abstraction where we can convert an mp4 to mp3 using a lot of functions like mentioned here okay so now 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 we got this headers and then we have this linking so all those things happen so now we can build this source code and then finally we are able to get this uh, uh, output file called audio extraction so this 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 is the binary audio extractor so you can see here yeah so this in, inside this build folder so we have this uh, audio extractor so now to run this application we need to pass two arguments one is the output file and one is the input file as i mentioned this application is currently limited to mp4 and then it converts an mp4 to mp3 and we will now to extend this and we'll explaining how to support this for different formats in the next series of the video. So this is the mp4 file and this is mp3 file as you can see here. So if you go to my home library and there is a project called audio output. So this we have only mp4, mp3 file is not there. So I will be running this command once again. So I am just copying this here and then I am just running this here okay so so typically so what you can see is so first the input file is open and audio stream will filtered and these are these are the specs for it and these are the encoding specs and this is this is the warning we'll work on this but until this not causing an issue for us so this is how so now you can see here this mp4 is converted to mp3 file so now 
I would like to play this. So let's see how it plays. How it is. Okay. So it is loading. So um, it's okay. So you can see here. Okay. What brings you to the land of the gatekeepers? I'm searching for someone. So I'm, so I'm passing this video here. So now the it's a, it's a MP4 file I downloaded from the other web and it converted to MP3 file in a clean and neat way. So this is how you convert an MP4 to MP3 file on a Ubuntu desktop in a standalone application, seamless by application. So later in the next video we will be going through this where we will be building an UI for this using the React Native and React Native library and we will also build a performing libraries for Android. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Please do support us, like, share and subscribe. Thank you.